Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. For today's project, we are gonna be making a really fun in the hoop project. We're gonna be making a boomerang stuffy. This pattern is from Ohana Applique Designs and you can find a link to it down in the description. Let's go over the supplies that we're gonna need for today's project. This embroidery project can be made in a five by seven hoop and a variety of other sizes. You'll need a front and back to your stuffy. I've chosen this really soft uh, yellow minky. And then you'll need two pieces of fabric um, for your applique pieces on the boomerang. Here's the back piece of minky. You're also going to need a variety of threads, some scissors, a dowel rod for stuffing, and then obviously your stuffing. Um, in addition to this, um, I'm going to be using a, a standard 11 75 needle. I'm using 40 weight embroidery thread and a 90 weight bobbin thread. Let's head over to the machine and get started. Okay, I have the boomerang design loaded into my machine. Today I'm using my brother Luminaire XP2 and I'm ready to get started with the first step. Our first step is going to be to secure this fabric onto the stabilizer. Step is the placement lines for the applique pieces. Next, place your fabric down. Next, place the other side down. Now, remove your hoop from your machine and using your applique scissors, trim around all of these fabrics. Do not have to cut as close on the zigzag edges as you do the straight edges because this is going to be under your stitching. The satin stitching is going to go here over these straight lines. So you want to get as close as you can with your scissors without cutting into the stitch itself. Return your hoop to your machine and stitch the satin stitching along the straight edges.
depending on the type of material that you are using, you may have to use a water soluble topper on top of it. I recommend this if you're using minky. It helps keep the stitches on top of the fabric. Next, we're going to continue to stitch the details of the boomerang. Alright, the next several steps are going to be the face details. So, enjoy this time lapse session on the face details. Now it is time to remove your hoop and remove all of your water soluble stabilizer. You can do that by simply pulling it off. You can use hemostats or tweezers or your fingernail to pull off any little tiny pieces that may be in there. Okay, now we are ready to put our backing on. So for this step, you want to make sure that you put pretty sides together because we're going to be turning this inside out. So pretty sides together, load it back into your machine, and stitch your final step. All our stitching is now complete. Remove your hoop, and then remove your item from your hoop. You're going to remove all the tearaway stabilizer. And then you're going to use your scissors and trim around the edge. Remember that you have this opening here, so you want to leave a little tail here that we can fold back inside to finish the design. I like to cut that out first. You want to leave about a quarter of an inch all the way around. All trimmed, now it is time to turn inside out. I have my stuffing dowel rod here to help me get all of those corners out. And now we are ready to stuff. Okay, we are all stuffed. The last step 
is to close this area. You can do this a variety of ways. You can use a ladder stitch and hand stitch it closed. You can take it over to a sewing machine and sew it closed, or you can glue it closed. Any which way you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue mine. For that, I'm gonna use gel super glue, and then I'll also need some of my wonder clips. I'm gonna start at one corner, just a little bit of glue. Pinch it closed for just a second and then put your clip on. And one more spot. Okay, we're gonna let that set for just about a minute. Well, that was a really fun and easy project. It took about 15 minutes to complete this project, which is really great if you're in a time crunch. So while I was sitting there stitching this out, I thought in my head, what else could you possibly use these little stuffies for? And as my German Shepherd puppy is laying on the floor next to me, I thought, what a great dog toy. So I think in my next video, I'm going to do uh, one just like this, maybe a little larger, like the six by 10 size. And I'm going to add some crinkle uh, noise maker fabric to the inside of this and make a cute little dog toy. So Hopefully you like this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and you subscribe to my channel. And I'd love to hear your ideas on what else you could use these for besides children's toys. So um, maybe cat toys, you could stuff some catnip in them. Um, let me hear your ideas. So until next time, happy crafting.